The Great Zhou Dynasty has been established for more than 3,000 years, with numerous martial artists and alchemists, as well as countless geniuses and experts. In the late spring and autumn period, the three kingdoms of Wu, Jin, and Chu attacked and attacked each other for the dominance of the central plains, and there were endless wars between large and small countries. That year, Lao Dan sat quietly in front of his close friend Prince Chao's tomb, pondering the roots of the Tao and all things, that year, Kong Chiu bid farewell to Duke Yi in the state of Chu and embarked on the road to Wei, that year, Sun Wu retired to Qionglong Mountain and built a house under Maopeng Fortress, teaching his son how to study, in this year, Xian Wenzi looked at the four celestial phenomena and responded to the changes of various things, becoming the strategist of Yu Wu in the distant mountains of Kuaiji in the state of Yu, Zhao Qin, who had traveled through the mountains and forests, became friends with a supernatural white ape and embarked on her journey of sword cultivation, dreaming of entering the heavens and integrating all kinds of methods. Lianqing Zhu World, beginner in internal skills, weeding out evil and promoting good, practicing the Tao for the heavens, Lu Xiaofeng's world, testing swordsmanship in the world, witnessing the path of each master's pursuit of the Tao, in the heavenly dragon world, one understands life and death, refines yin and yang true qi, and lays the foundation for one's own martial arts and swordsmanship, in the world of the Tang dynasty, sweep away the sea, rectify various sects of Taoism, Buddhism, and demons, and point the way for cultivators in the world, this book is also known as, The Road of Sword in the Heavens, and, I Became a Sword Immortal in the Pre-Qin Dynasty. No CP, Tentative World. Lianqing Zhu, Lu Xiaofeng, Tianlong Babu, Tang Shuanglong, Martial Arts Master, Sword Dynasty, Zhu Xian, One World Sovereign, Journey to the West, Yang Shen, Divine Tomb, Covering the Sky, Destruction Illustrated Record, Chapter 8.58 of Lianqing Zhu. Chapter 79.189 of Lu Xiaofeng, Chapter 208.189 of Tian Long Babu, Keywords of the Novel. Zhu Tian. Opening UNV Aching No Pop Ups, Zhu Tian. Opening UNV Aching TXT Complete Collection Download, Zhu Tian. Opening UNV Aching Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1. White Ape Teaches Martial Arts. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 White Ape Teaches Martial Arts The Zhou Dynasty, The State of Yu, and the Mountains of Kuaiji. This mountain range is one of the famous mountains in the southeastern region of China, known as the Head of the Nine Mountains. Dozens of large cities of the Yu State are scattered within the area, and ancient relics such as the Tomb of the Great Yu are buried. The cultural history is quite long. In the northern part of the mountains, the early summer noon sunlight falls on the lush forests. A grassland in a valley, with more than ten goats happily foraging, occasionally making a few ba sounds. Not far away, a group of green and white shadows were rapidly intertwined, and gusts of strong wind spread, leaving a large circle of obvious marks on the lawn. In less than a hundred breaths, the speed of the two gradually slowed down and they were no longer indistinct figures that were difficult to see. One of them was a young girl in a light green dress, aged fourteen or fifteen, holding a bamboo stick. Her skin was fair, her figure was slender, and her eyes were clear and lively. On the other hand, there was actually a white ape with a body shape similar to that of a young girl, holding a bamboo stick. Although the speed of both sides' body movements has slowed down, their power has increased instead of decreasing. As the girl swung her bamboo stick, it seemed to have an invisible suction force, driving an increasing airflow. While the moves were more sluggish than before, the strength carried on the stick also increased several times. While chopping and chopping, the bamboo stick is also vibrating at a special frequency, with faint but sharp airflow surrounding it, making a hissing sound. It seems that what is in hand is not a lightweight bamboo stick weighing less than ten tails, but a sharp sword weighing twenty or thirty pounds, continuously spraying its power towards the white ape. The bamboo stick of the white ape, on the other hand, is not too heavy. Each time, it is lightly handed out, and as the two sticks are about to be handed over, it suddenly accelerates. 
It hits the weak points of the girl's move with a heavy blow, swinging away the opponent's bamboo stick. It is both agile and powerful, and can be described as flowing like clouds and flowing like water, with unparalleled elegance. Compared to the effect of a young girl using a bamboo stick to lift it lightly, this technique consumes much less energy, indicating that it is even more sophisticated. After a few more breaths, the girl in the green shirt moved her bamboo stick one grid away, took a step with her left foot, and leaped backwards like an arrow, taking the initiative to stop the fight. The white ape stood in place for a while, then suddenly let out a long whistle, threw down a bamboo stick, jumped up the treetop, and in the blink of an eye, it was already dozens of feet away. Hey, I've only managed three more moves than yesterday. I don't know when I'll be able to defeat the monkey lord and even become the top expert in you. The girl watched as the white ape gradually drifted away, smoothed out a brand new stick mark on her right shoulder, and inserted the bamboo stick into her waist buckle, unable to help but sigh lightly. The girl's name is Zhao Qin, and she has been traveling to this world for almost 15 years. Since her infancy, she has been living with her mother Rui Shi and has no other relatives. As Zhao Qing woke up from her daily dreams, she could always vaguely see the same complex and unfamiliar ancient font, and it was unclear whether it was due to her time travel or the legendary Golden Finger. At the age of nine, Zhao's mother inexplicably suffered an internal injury while going out, and could only stay in bed, unable to work. From then on, Zhao Qing took on the heavy responsibility of supporting his family, including herding and selling sheep, doing household chores, cooking and so on. Although Zhao Qin died of illness in his previous life and was eager for health and life, he still couldn't get excited about such a dull and monotonous life with no future to speak of. This is the territory of the state of Yu during the Zhou dynasty. The Zhou dynasty had been in power for nearly 3,000 years. Since King Ping of Zhou moved eastward to Lui, the Zhou royal family has declined, and various feudal lords such as Duke Huan of Qi, Duke Wen of Jin, and King Zhuang of Chu have successively dominated. It can be inferred that the current era is approaching the end of the spring and autumn period of the Eastern Zhou dynasty. But unlike in previous lives, the various feudal states in this world have an absurdly large area. The Kuaiji Mountains, where Zhao Qing and his family are located, stretch nearly 20,000 miles from north to south, surpassing the Andes Mountains in their previous lives. In addition, the age of the Zhou dynasty in this era is five times that of its predecessor, and the lifespan of high dot-level figures has correspondingly been extended, which reminds people of the existence of extraordinary power. According to the information learned by Zhao Qing, the contemporary king of Yu, Go Jian, ended his humiliating life in the state of Wu several years ago. After returning to his home country, he built the national capital Kuaiji City, also known as Shanin City, in the north of Kuaiji Mountain. Based on past life history, she was aware that ministers such as Go Jian, Wen Zhong, and Fan Li had already made plans and were now seeking revenge. But what does this have to do with an ordinary Chinese woman in the mountains of Kuaiji? More than 7,000 miles inside and outside the capital, there are tens of millions of Chinese people, as for the commoners and slaves under the Chinese people, they are even more numerous and difficult to measure. It is extremely difficult for ordinary people to stand out. This is not the period after the Tang and Song dynasties, where commoners had channels for promotion such as the imperial examination. From the Zhou dynasty onwards, there was a clear hierarchy of feudal lords, nobles, commoners, savages, and slaves. This is an era where all kings, nobles, generals, and ministers have their own qualities, let alone Zhao Qin, who is still a woman, not a man. The only women in the spring and autumn period who could have power were the wives of certain feudal states, but this had nothing to do with Zhao Qin. Firstly, Zhao Qin himself did not like any love, and it was not in line with the three views of the ancients, secondly, her background and social status are too low, and her appearance is far from the level of a city of beauty, unable to meet the requirements. At present, the ministers, officials, and scholars of various countries are entirely held by the nobility. Even if there seem to be people of Chinese descent, after a deep understanding, 
it can be found that these people were originally descendants of the declining nobility. In fact, in the context of aristocratic monopoly on education, only a few ordinary Chinese people had surnames and were able to read, which was still the result of the collapse of the spring in autumn rites and music. Zhao Qing's ancestors were surnamed Yang of Zhao, which originated from the Zhao region of the state of Jin. The surname was derived from Yang Chufu, a high ranking official of the state of Jin. They migrated several times to the southern state of Yu, which can be considered as a family with some cultural heritage. But before Zhao Qing was born, his father and other men in the family passed away due to the war, while Zhao's mother only recognized some commonly used characters. More importantly, what she recognized was only the script of the Jin region, not the script of the Yu state, which was not much different from not having it. This is very embarrassing, which shows the importance of later Qin Shi Huang's writing in the same language. Therefore, Zhao Qing is still half illiterate to this day. The reason why she is half illiterate is because the writing of various countries is still pictographic. After living here for a long time, she can still barely recognize some of them. Until the age of 13, she was herding sheep in the mountains as usual, and then met a great white ape who wanted to ride a goat. Zhao Qing took a bamboo stick to drive it away, and it immediately broke a bamboo stick and fought against her. The speed and stick technique of the white ape were quite amazing, leaving Zhao Qing with no fighting power and only letting the bamboo stick hit him. But strangely, despite the pain in the area where she was beaten, she inexplicably felt a warm current surging inside her body, gradually spreading throughout her body. The next day, Zhao Qing discovered an astonishing fact that her strength suddenly increased. She quickly remembered the actions of the white ape and was fully validated. Her strength only increased after fighting against the white ape, but did not improve on a regular basis. Obviously, this white ape is his own opportunity to guide and enhance his own strength. Thinking back to my mother's nickname for me, Ah Qing, the answer is readily available. So, I am Ah Qing in The Sword of You, Zhao Chu in Swordsman, and the character recorded in Wu Yu Chun Qiu, who taught swordsmanship and helped you destroy Wu. Zhao Qing was a fan of martial arts novels in his past life, and was quite familiar with Jin Yang's Yuan V Jian. Apart from the different sizes of the world, his age, shepherd, white ape, and so on were perfectly matched. So, did you have a talent cheat? This indicates that I have the qualifications to become the top expert in the Wuyu region and have a bright future. She suddenly felt an epic feeling in her heart, that after crossing over, she would not only be a witness to history, but also an important role in creating history actually, the time is magnified five times, and the length and width are magnified one hundred times each. In addition, although this article references history, it will not be too rigorous and should not be scrutinized. There is a considerable lack of historical materials from the pre-Qin period, resulting in a large number of two hypotheses. Additionally, only partial historical records from pre-Qin and post-Qin works are accepted. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Harvest. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Harvest Two years have passed, and Zhao Qin has benefited greatly from practicing against the white ape. Not only has her strength increased several times, but she has also developed a unique and clever bamboo stick move, as well as matching her luck and body techniques. Accompanied by day after day of fighting and self-practice, she deeply experienced her incredible ability to learn swordsmanship. Modern people who have seen Xiao'ao know the truth of, no moves win, there are moves, but let alone truly comprehend it. Even if they really put the secret script of Dugu Jiujian in front of them and let them learn, it will ultimately be a situation where the eyes see but the brain does not understand, or the brain understands but the hands do not understand. However, relying solely on such a concept, I initially reached the level of no move in just six months, and my talent is more than a thousand times that of my previous life. At first, she doubted whether the soul she had traveled through would lower A Qing's talent, but now it seems that there shouldn't be much impact. Sure enough, genius is such an unreasonable existence. Fortunately, 
genius is herself. Unfortunately, her talent only lies in martial arts. Apart from her good memory, she has no outstanding skills in other areas such as literature and numerology. But this is also enough to give Zhao Qing a vibrant spirit and the confidence to overcome the difficulties and obstacles in the path of cultivation. In addition to swordsmanship, the warm current triggered by the white ape hitting her is called internal strength by her, which can continuously increase through training and provide strong physical strength. At first, she needed the help of the white ape to develop new internal strength, but soon she understood the key to strength training, which allowed her to practice strength alone and improve faster than the white ape. During this process, she clearly felt that the white ape had a spirituality beyond that of ordinary people, and could also attract experience from fighting like her, continuously increasing its strength. The two belonged to the relationship of both teachers and friends. Later, Zhao Qin called it Monkey King, and Monkey King also recognized this title. Today, she has been able to support more than 500 moves under the baton of the Monkey Lord. Perhaps next year, or perhaps the year after, she will be able to draw and even turn defeat into victory. Furthermore, as a modern thinker, she does not arrogantly assume that there is only her and the Monkey Guild Kung Fu in the world. In a world with a total area and population far exceeding that of a previous Earth, Zhao Qin can be certain that with human wisdom, since Kung Fu exists, it must have been created and developed long ago. In fact, the lifespan of the emperors of the Zhou dynasty and the rulers of various feudal states has also confirmed this. According to historical records, it has been 8,000 years since the division of the nine provinces by Emperor Yu and the creation of the family and world by Xia Qi. In this world where one can practice, it is not surprising that the path of martial arts has developed to the point of being able to break mountains and seas over such a long period of time. Zhao Qin privately speculated that it was precisely the suppression of the most powerful that allowed the various kingdoms of the world to continue their national legacy for thousands of years, resulting in their lifespan far exceeding that of any previous dynasty. When she has free time, she also goes to the surrounding villages to inquire about the brief situation of contemporary martial arts. The so dot called martial arts are referred to by practitioners as Gong Jin and Jin Fa, which use strength to circulate throughout the body, practicing both inside and outside, and have the effect of increasing qi and promoting health and longevity. At present, Zhao Qin only heard about the three realms of Yin, Yang, and Hua. By observing and consulting the only martial artist in the village, he can roughly determine that he is close to the level of Hua. Yin strength refers to the strength hidden in the skin and flesh, which is relatively soft and focuses on fine control of the strength. Yang strength is a strong and powerful force that surrounds the muscles and bones, emphasizing the accumulation and burst of strength. Both take Yin as the exterior and Yang as the interior, so Yang is higher than Yin. The degree to which yin and yang can work together and transform into each other anywhere around the body is called energy transformation. The martial artist in the village is only an ancestral martial arts skill, not proficient in writing. He has practiced for more than 20 years, which is to the extent that his yin energy is almost full and his yang energy is not yet achieved. Both in strength and talent, they are far inferior to Zhao Qin. Nevertheless, he can also be considered a well-known hero within a radius of 100 miles. There should be a higher realm beyond the realm of transformation, but no one in the village knows the specific situation, and it is not easy for her to travel far away to learn about it. After all, I still need to take care of my mother at home, and I can't let my bedridden relatives suffer just for one piece of news. The mountains of Kwaiji cover an area of tens of thousands of miles, and although Zhao Qing's home is on the northern edge of the mountain range, it is still eight to nine hundred miles away from the nearest city. Moreover, the mountain road is winding and rugged, making it difficult to walk. Even with Zhao Qing's skills, it takes four to five days to travel back and forth. Fortunately, it is not necessary to inquire about information in person. As long as there is enough money, it is entirely possible for others to handle the matter. For the past two years, relying on his martial arts skills, Zhao Qing has hunted and killed many wild animals while herding sheep, earning a lot of coins. 
GooCoin is a bronze coin issued by the state of you, mainly in three types. Large, medium, and small. 1 to GooCoin equals 2 GooCoins equals 10 Shao GooCoins, and 1 Shao GooCoin can exchange for about 1 kilogram of corn. Unconsciously, Zhao Qing had accumulated over 700 large coins and also learned about many situations in the martial arts world. Within the Kuaiji Mountains, there are seven major sects, 30.2 large mountain villages, and dozens of small villages. There are thousands of martial artists, including skilled ones at the level of energy transformation, outside the mountains of Kuaiji, the capital of Yu, Kuaiji City, the old capital of Gosheng and Pingyang, as well as more than 20 surrounding major cities, all have true experts sitting there. It is said that the realm is far above the power of transformation while she was searching for information, she was also considering whether to relocate her home to the nearest city, Chong, ch, while the living conditions and conditions for practicing martial arts should be better in the spring. The cultural heritage of Yu is not as profound as that of Song, Lu, and other countries. Only in the cities and towns are there official schools that mainly cater to the nobility and teach literary etiquette. After relocation, I can gradually get rid of my current situation of semi-illiteracy. Many people in rural areas often talk about historical anecdotes that have been passed down from official schools, allowing Xiao Qin to have a preliminary understanding of this era. As the evening approached, accompanied by the constant chirping of cicadas and birds in the forest, Zhao Qin casually hummed mountain songs and drove his flock home along the small stream in the valley. Another day has passed, and today my luck is good. I met a deer and was hit on the head by her with a bamboo stick, which shocked me to death on the spot. I estimate it could be sold for seven or eight large coins. The Zhao family is located by the creek at the foot of the mountain. It is a four-bay wooden house with a small courtyard surrounded by a bamboo fence. It is quite simple, with several jujube trees planted. There are still many abandoned wooden and thatched houses on the side, forming a small village, but it was uninhabited many years ago, seemingly caused by a previous epidemic. Now in this area, there are only two people living, Zhao Qing and Zhao Mu, which is quite deserted. Usually, there is only one entertainment activity, mother-daughter chatting, which is quite boring. This is also one of the reasons why Zhao Qing wants to move. Leading the sheep and turning the last valley, Zhao Qing saw a nearby village and a wisp of grey-white smoke rising into the sky from afar. Something's wrong. Where did the cooking smoke come from? For many years, my mother has found it quite difficult to stand up and lacks the ability to cook. She has always cooked her own meals. So, is there an outsider coming? But as she gazed intently, the smoke did indeed rise from her own house. Is the house occupied by someone at home? Zhao Qing frowned deeply. He had never heard of any relatives living in his family for so many years. Suddenly, someone cooked at home, and it was very likely that they were mountain bandits and thieves. Are you interested in the money accumulated at home, or are you trying to bully an orphan or widowed mother? Quietly driving the goat to the sheepfold at the entrance of the village, hiding the dead deer, she pulled out a bamboo stick from her waist and tightly held it in her hand. She silently moved closer like a cat, covered by a jujube tree, and peered into the front yard of the Zhao family. End of this chapter Chapter 3 The Way of Practice You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 The Way of Practice I saw a bamboo chair at the door, on which sat a young man in black, about twenty years old. A strange bamboo hat was hung by the wall. This person has a grey package hanging on their shoulder, with a thin and slender body, a handsome and gentle appearance, and white cheeks. There are two long eyebrows hanging from their eyes. At this moment, they have just torn off a piece of dried meat in their hand and are chewing it in their mouth. Under the rainproof wooden shed on one side, the firewood at the bottom of the cooking stove has been ignited, mixed with a few black-gray-white smoke and dust floating in the wind. Zhao Qing smelled the scent and only smelled the faint fragrance of chestnut rice, without any bloody smell. Combined with the scene at the door, 
it can be roughly inferred that this person was only occupying her household to cook, and her mother was not in danger. However, it is also uncertain whether a person who sells well may be a robber. She reached out and grabbed two handful of dust on her face, reducing her appearance before quietly returning to the courtyard door and pushing it in. The young man took a big sip of water, his cheeks bulging, and he was swallowing dried meat. When he saw Zhao Qin coming back, he looked a bit embarrassed and said, Hello girl, can I stay overnight at your house for a day? Puff. Cough 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 cough. He held the jerky in one hand and covered his mouth in the other, choking on water. How does it look like a happy horn? It's still very elegant. Zhao Qin lightly tapped the ground with a bamboo stick and said indifferently, You come uninvited. If you want to stay overnight, at least you need to pay some fees. There is no reason to live and eat for free. This was a temporary promise. Based on the other party's performance just now, she judged that even if this person had martial arts skills, they were far inferior to herself, otherwise they wouldn't have appeared so ugly. It seems that she was too cautious. Since it's not your opponent, there's no need to worry too much. Just stay for a day, it's not a big problem. I'll pay now. The young man untied the package on his body, took out a flat gold cake and an exquisite bronze short sword, gestured twice with his hand, and removed a piece of yellow bean-sized gold. In today's world, pearls and jade are the top coins, gold is the middle coin, and copper is the bottom coin. Such a small piece of gold is equivalent to 50 or 60 large coins, equivalent to the total annual income of ordinary people. Where do you come from? Rich children, so rich. I originally only hoped that the young man would give me one or two small coins, or get a piece of dried meat. Zhao Qing lowered her gaze, suppressing her astonishment and joy. She calmly reached out to take it and went straight back to the room to check on Zhao's mother's condition. In her past life, she grew up in an orphanage without accompanying relatives and friends. In her heart, the weight of a mother in this life is heavier than gold. Pushing open the door, I saw a middle-aged woman lying on the bed covered in a grey-yellow cloth blanket with her eyes tightly closed, describing her as thin and pale. At the age of thirty, there are already many wrinkles, showing a hint of aging. After hearing the sound, Ruishi opened his eyes and sat up forcefully, looking at his daughter by the bed. Zhao Qing took off the handkerchief hanging on the wall and wiped away the dust from her face. She whispered, Mother, are you okay? Ah Qing, don't worry, Auntie is fine. Have you seen the other Zhuji Wutsi outside? Zhuji. Is there such a surname? Only the sons of the feudal lords in the spring and autumn period can be called Gongzi. People below this usually refer to them by their names, and can also include their surnames. It seems that this person agreed to stay overnight after greeting their mother. Zhao Qing muttered casually and expressed in her heart that this surname is not as pleasant as Zhuga. I've seen it. Mom, what's up? Wu Xi came to stay overnight at home, and Ah Mu agreed. Ah Qing, Ah Mu knows that you like to practice stick and exercise your body on a daily basis, so she mentioned a few words to him. Wu Xi said that his martial arts are very good and he wants to give you guidance. After dinner, Ah Qing, you can ask him for advice. Rui Shi spoke softly, showing a sincere and hopeful expression that was hard to understand. She has been bedridden for many years and has always believed that she has not been able to support her family, but has instead become a burden. Therefore, she harbors a lot of guilt towards her daughter, and can only hope that she can gain something in the things she loves and achieve her wishes. Hmm, can I ask for advice? To someone who cannot fully control their body and can even choke on food and drink. Zhao Qing expressed that she felt a bit embarrassed for herself, but for the sake of the other party's gold and her mother, she still managed to cope with this nonsense. However, speaking of which, did my mother mention two words that she wanted to provide guidance without hesitation? So good to be a teacher. Zhao Qin thought for a moment and erected a wooden stake in the backyard for practice, leaving many marks on it. 
Perhaps this person has seen something and is not as innocent as he appears. However, the other party's family background is obviously very good, probably from a real big city, and they should know a lot of information. If there is really any valuable content, I won't learn from him in vain. At best, I can return the gold to him. She nodded to Zhao's mother, helped tidy up the blanket briefly, turned around and left to take care of the earthen stove cooking outside. When the food was cooked, the three of them had a simple meal. Zhao Qing first went out to pick up the corpse of a deer, peeled off its skin, cleaned its internal organs, hung it on a wooden frame in the yard for air drying, and then put the pottery jars and other utensils used for serving millet and rice in bamboo baskets. He carried them to the stream to clean. The sky is getting late, and the stream is cool and clear, with little ripples rising. A crescent moon has hung on the treetops. The girl crouched lightly by the water's edge, with a gentle breeze brushing a few strands of green silk. The sleeves and straps of the light green cloth shirt hung low, almost touching the water surface. Juji Wutsi paced behind her, holding his hat and vigorously fanning the wind. Perhaps there was nothing to do, he came out for a walk to pass the time. Are you from Kwaiji City or somewhere? I heard you can guide me in my martial arts. Rich children don't stay at home and enjoy life. They traveled hundreds and thousands of miles alone, without any reason, to remote mountains and fields. Zhao Qing doesn't believe this person, he must have his own reasons. But she doesn't need to ask for the reason, who knows what might get into it. However, guiding Kung Fu was previously agreed upon, so there shouldn't be any trouble. But it's quite strange to be so kind and proactive in teaching people. In the era of clear hierarchy, there shouldn't be anyone with any ideal of spreading martial arts to the world. People who practice have no fixed abode. Actually, I really want to guide you, miss. Can you tell me? Did you see my exceptional qualifications? However, it always felt like the art style suddenly changed. Zhao Qing casually put the cleaned utensils back into the bamboo basket while thinking about it. The path of cultivation has existed since ancient times and has been passed down for tens of thousands of years. There are various sages such as Chao, Suiren, Fuxi, Guangcheng, and Qibua, as well as emperors Jun, Taihao, Shennong, Zhurong, and Ganggang. It was completed by Emperor Xianyuan Huangdi and is described in the Heavenly Book. It is also known as Yin and Yang transform into Gangshen, and the six energies are derived and transformed. Dot. Yin Yang Hua Gangshen refers to Yin energy, Yang energy, Hua energy, Gang energy, and Shen energy. Six Qi derivation creation transformation is divided into lower six Qi, middle six Qi, upper six Qi, Tian Yan, and creation transformation. The way to practice strength is through martial arts, martial arts. The combination of elements is like unity, with both virtual and real elements accumulating in the void. Once the strength is connected to the gods, it can harness the power of heaven and earth, and begin to engage in the practice of one mind in six chi. As long as you cultivate any one of the six chi, you will initially have the ability to fly to heaven and escape from the earth. In legend, the great ability to cultivate the realm of creation also has the ability to draw rivers and divide the sea, pick stars, and catch the moon. But each of these realms is not absolute. In addition to the martial arts path of cultivating strength first, there are also schools that focus on refining qi, known as qi refining masters. Dot. Slow heating, let me introduce the settings. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Divine Weapon. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Divine Weapon in the Darkness. The young man talked about the origin, realm division, and ability methods of cultivation, and only then stopped talking about the realm of the six chi. Strangely, during this period, he did not pause for a moment to ponder, and his speaking speed hardly changed. Even an old man was reciting classics, it was nothing more. Zhao Qin listened attentively, constantly comparing what she heard with her own knowledge, rubbing her fingers, and falling into contemplation. Have Zhu Rong and Gong Gong ever served as emperors? 
However, professionals always understand history better than themselves, so listen first before you speak. 6 Chi Is it the 6 Chi that embodies the righteousness of heaven and earth, and governs the debate of the 6 Chi? Zhuangzi hasn't been born yet, but the Taoist school to which Zhuangzi belongs can be traced back to the Yellow Emperor, who is a martial ancestor-like figure in this era, so it should be the same term. Can one achieve such a level of cultivation through flying to the heavens and escaping to the earth, and crossing rivers and seas? Undoubtedly, it is a world of high martial arts, and it is estimated that such experts are enough to suppress one country and one place. I don't know when I will experience such a powerful force. Thank you very much. No merit, no reward. Sir told me these common sense, but what do I need to repay? After the other party finished speaking in one breath, Zhao Qing looked at Zhu Ji Wuzi with long eyebrows and starry eyes, and spoke with a somewhat reserved and respectful tone. At first, she thought the other party would talk about her own experiences in the martial arts world and some common martial arts knowledge circulating in the big city, but the content she just heard far exceeded her expectations. Is it really possible to exchange so much for a simple overnight stay? For her, although these messages do not contain any martial arts secrets, they provide guidance on her future direction and path, which is particularly precious. In fact, if you really want to give any martial arts secrets, with your current cultural level of being semi-illiterate and not understanding various professional terms of cultivation, it is probably impossible to practice them at all. Unless someone teaches you in detail word by word, it's better to slowly cultivate your strength on your own and not set your sights too high. And if the other party can know so many secrets, they either have strong strength, or have a deep background, not the wealthy children they imagine to be rebellious and reckless when traveling far away. But was the previous image portrayed through acting or a split personality? I always feel like a completely different person. Zhao Qing muttered inwardly. In one year and six months, 1,300 miles northeast of this place, a divine weapon will be born. I wonder if you are willing to go and see it. Juji didn't give a direct answer, his eyes were deep, and he looked towards the mountains that had already fallen into darkness in the distance. Is it a divine weapon? Saying unwillingness is false. In ancient times, the Yellow Emperor used to cast copper swords from the Shoshan Mountain, Xian Yuan. Today, O Yezi uses iron to cast swords such as Long Yuan, Tai A, and Gongbu, as well as copper swords such as Zhan Lu, Chun Jun, Xing Xie, Yu Chang, and Ju K made of red silk and rui. In the past, these famous swords were legendary divine weapons, and in this world, they would obviously only be stronger. I don't know if the divine weapons mentioned by Zhu Ji Wuzi are similar to these famous swords and have what kind of power. Upon careful consideration, Zhao Qing realized that she had been practicing martial arts and swordsmanship with bamboo sticks for the past two years, but this does not mean that she also wants to continue using them in the future. My own martial arts cannot reach the level of using grass, wood, bamboo, and stone as swords. If I were to use a real sharp sword, my strength would increase significantly. In the past, she also inquired about the current price of weapons and wanted to buy one. However, even the most ordinary bronze sword is astonishingly expensive. A bronze sword about 60 centimeters long, weighing nearly 2 pounds, requires 2 pounds of starting copper material. The material cost is second, and more importantly, it is the cost of crafting swords by the swordsmith, which adds up to at least 4 to 500 large coins. Moreover, such shops are only found in urban areas, and they are not sold in rural areas. Although Zhao Qin likes to practice swordsmanship, considering that buying a bronze sword is really troublesome and its power may not be much stronger than a bamboo stick in his own hands, after all, the length and toughness are much worse, and more importantly, the material is hard and sharp, so he has not taken any action. Bronze swords can be considered valuable, let alone divine weapons. Legend has it that the Taya sword once triggered a war between Jin and Chu, indicating the intense competition for such treasures. It's better to practice silently on your own. Only with strong strength can you hold on to what you want. 
I don't know why, sir, did you invite the young woman to come? If you want me to go, at least you need to explain the reason and your identity clearly. Don't call me, sir. I didn't teach you anything, I just invested and made a deal in advance. I'm telling you this news as part of making friends. Juji Wutsi paused for a moment, looked up at the sky, and said calmly, when the divine weapon is about to leave, there will be a strange phenomenon appearing between heaven and earth. You can decide for yourself whether to go or not. Good investment relationship. Can you explain it more clearly? Zhao Qing was stunned for a moment and replied seriously. Sure enough, was that stunned look before intentionally put on. But is this necessary? And the other party said they are investing making friends, which shows my cultivation. His strength is much higher than I imagined. I haven't seen him make a judgment in person before. But why did you just happen to meet me by chance? Or did you say Zhao Qing felt that what happened today was even more exciting than the past three months combined? It is difficult to distinguish whether the other party is sincere or trying to induce and use oneself, so it is better to be cautious. Just a moment ago, I had already come up with a series of conspiracies, such as finding someone to sacrifice blood for forging divine weapons, promoting and attracting experts everywhere, and ambushing them suddenly. Are you worried that you won't be safe when there are many experts gathered? Maybe you are the one who is destined to receive divine weapons to recognize and protect it. The future top expert of the Yu Kingdom. As if sensing Zhao Qing's hesitation and contemplation, Juji Wuzi turned his head to look at her and spoke expressionlessly. Are you following me? Although he had vaguely anticipated it, learning that he was being spied and observed in the dark still startled Zhao Qing. As if being poured by a cold stream on her forehead, her heart was intertwined with cold and hot, and her surprise was so hard to conceal. I even know what I casually said at noon today, it seems like it won't be a moment or two. How could I be so unlucky? I was inexplicably targeted. Don't worry, your message came from a nearby village when I passed by, it was purely accidental. There is a rumor in the rural area that there is a little girl who has always been lucky and often harvests mountain goods. She sells them at the market every three or four days. This is actually quite obvious for knowledgeable and thoughtful people. So I came over to take a look, and that's it. Zhuji Wutsi glanced at the girl and explained calmly. Zhao Qing thought for a moment and suddenly understood. This is not deep within the mountains of Kuaiji, but in an area close to the periphery where various wild beasts do not appear frequently. Encountering and completing hunting is actually a matter of luck. It's okay to do it once or twice, but with more attempts, people like Zhuji Wutsi can guess that they have greatly enhanced five senses after practicing martial arts, so they can efficiently detect the traces of animals. It seems like I was careless, but compared to the money earned from selling prey, the risks involved are still worth it. Practicing martial arts and strength not only taps into one's own potential and obtains strength beyond that of ordinary people, but also requires nutritional nourishment. Therefore, the consumption of food is much higher than that of ordinary households. In addition, we also need to buy some medicinal herbs for our mother to recuperate. If we only herd sheep without hunting, our family will definitely not be able to support us. Having gains and losses is the norm. The metrics mentioned by the plot characters, non-protagonists, are calculated based on the time, while the protagonists and narrators use modern metrics. Also, the reason why bronze swords are so expensive is because there are few craftsmen who can cast weapons, and the labor cost is high. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Test. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Test, Don't Worry. I have no ill intentions, it's just a good relationship. It took me 15 years to travel 18,000 miles across the mountains of Kwaiji, and I saw countless people. Having never used natural resources, treasures, or tonics before, one can gradually reach a state of energy transformation at the age of 15. Such talents can also rank in the top 5 during this time. 
facing a genius, it is naturally quite good to make friends in advance. This person walked around in the mountains fifteen years ago, but his appearance was only twenty years old. Is this the realm of standing still? Can you even tell that I haven't used any martial arts medicine in the past? What kind of vision is this? Continuously hearing such exciting news, Zhao Qin couldn't help but reach out and rub his chest to ease his shock. Speaking of which, am I only in the top five? I don't know if it's accurate or not. In this era, there is no surveillance, so it's impossible to find out all the details about oneself. However, in retrospect, the other party probably didn't know that I started practicing martial arts at the age of 13, after all, I haven't told anyone about it myself. If calculated based on the age of 7, 8, or even younger, it should be underestimated. Zhao Qing pondered silently, feeling a great desire in his heart for things that could assist in cultivation, such as great supplements and natural resources and treasures. The resources that truly influential people use to practice martial arts are probably more than a thousand times more than themselves. This is the difference in background. However, in this life, I have already possessed the talent of genius, and the requirements cannot be too high, which is not very realistic. I just don't know what kind of attitude these Juji Wutsi are taking when they say they want to make friends with geniuses. Speaking of which, I am now saying that I want to become a disciple. Can I succeed? But he never said his own realm, so if he dares to apprentice, it will be too late to regret. Alas, why do you think so much? She looked as if she was listening attentively to the guidance, but her eyebrows slightly furrowed. Zhuji Wutsi lowered his head and looked at Zhao Qing, who was one head lower than him, with his eyes slightly narrowed. The little girl is still inexperienced and cannot completely conceal her feelings of dissatisfaction, unwilling to be suppressed by others. Since the founding of Wuyu, Daiyue has moved its capital seven times, but the capital has always been located near the mountains of Kuaiji. Kuaiji Mountain boasts thousands of beautiful rocks and numerous ravines, with beautiful and tranquil scenery. In addition, there are ancient relics such as the Mausoleum of King Yu that have been preserved in the mountain. Throughout history, many unknown experts have come to visit and explore, leaving behind a lot of heritage. Therefore, the trend of martial arts is flourishing, and experts are emerging frequently. My own evaluation of this little girl living in the mountains is that she can rank in the top five in this area, which means that even if the scope expands to the entire U country, she can still rank in the top fifteen of contemporary times, which can be said to be not high. Unexpectedly, being in the top five was not a true encouragement or praise in her mind. However, being so confident can also be considered a good thing. Sometimes, the more you know, the less you believe in yourself, which leads to hesitation and undermines your morale. Strength comes from the mind, and qi comes from refining the spirit. Only when one refuses to accept qi can they overcome the many difficulties in the path of cultivation. Seeing the weak reveal their wealth, but they are not interested. After listening to their multiple words, they still remain cautious, have the courage and understanding, and even if their physical qualifications are slightly inferior, there is no harm. The nourishment of pregnant women by wealthy families far exceeds that of ordinary people. In fact, even without considering the precious medicinal herbs taken later in life, children from noble backgrounds can still lead the average person by a large margin, which is determined before birth. But De Yu is not without a secret treasure that can improve qualifications and accelerate the pace of energy training. In a daze, he seemed to see his own shadow, the shadow of his teacher, and the shadow of Yu Gua in the little girl's eyes. Juji Wutsi suddenly let out a long sigh and made a decision in his heart. He spoke up, actually, I have never seen anyone like you who has exceptional intelligence and spontaneously developed a method for practicing strength. The dark mountains, forests, and villages behind him were suddenly illuminated by a brilliant light, like a miniature sun rising. Countless dots of light swept across the night sky, pieced together in mid-air to form a grand and vivid picture. On the scroll is a magnificent pavilion built on a high ground by the river, surrounded by tall city walls. 
The outer walls are dotted with official offices, ancestral temples, and prosperous neighborhood markets. Turning around, I saw a little boy running out of a pavilion inside, climbing up a wudong tree beside the wall, holding the wall with his left hand, and taking out a small wooden sword from his pocket with his right hand. The boy calmly looked at the ever-dot-changing clouds in the sky while casually waving his wooden sword, causing the tip of the sword to circle through the air one after another. Zhao Qing's eyebrows relaxed, her eyes slightly bright, showing curiosity and a hint of urgency in her eyes. If Shuji had previously revealed various secrets to himself without hesitation, it could still be said that he had extensive knowledge, but the means he has revealed now are definitely true experts. This glowing dynamic picture is the effect of Shaoyin Jun fire in the lower six qi. It can not only guide the yin and yang qi to make the air glow and heat, but also has the terrifying power of burning out a hundred zhang radius. As for the scene in the picture, Zhao Qing had already guessed that the person who also understood the method of luck was the little boy in the picture. She really wants to know his identity and what achievements he achieved later on. Unconsciously, martial arts has become one of her sustenances in this era, and she pays close attention to any news related to her own martial arts improvement. Juji Wutsi's previously flat tone suddenly fluctuated, giving off a somewhat heavy feeling. He is the sworn brother of my great Yu General Ling Gu Fu, the top expert of the Yu state, and an unparalleled expert known as the Great Swordsman by various countries, Shen Qindao. The ancestor of the Great Swordsman was originally the Shen family of the Mi surname in the state of Chu. During the reign of King Yunchang, he moved to the state of Yu and was granted the position of lower official. His fiefdom was located in Li, Zhu Ai, adjacent to the land of Wu. This should have opened up an era of prosperity for the family. But only half a year later, conflicts broke out between Wu and Yu, and the flames of war spread across the border. Li was captured by the Wu army, and Shen's fiefdom was looted and slaughtered. Overnight, only one six-year-old orphan survived in the entire family, who was the future great swordsman. In this way, young and wandering alone in the Wu realm, Shen Shi, in order to survive and seek revenge, self-comprehended the power method, understood yin and yang, and transformed gang. He discovered ancient secret scriptures in the ruins, learned from his predecessors, and practiced the way of refining qi together, achieving remarkable progress. Accompanied by Zhuji's speechless narration, the images in the picture scroll are constantly changing, gradually depicting the process of Shen Qindao's life. In the cold winter of the twelfth lunar month, climb to the top of a high mountain without any human habitation, bury oneself in the extremely thick snow, hold one's breath and concentrate, in order to understand the yin of heaven and the yang of man, exploring the hidden ancient tomb, overcoming various terrifying and deadly mechanisms, a precious sword engraved with exquisite bird seal script was dug out from it. With the help of divine weapons, the force was carried out, and the sword energy was cut out more than ten zhang away from the body Zhao Qing gazed at the scene not far away, watching his senior overcome life and death crises, and deeply experienced the difficulty of practicing alone. At the same time, she had a vague speculation in her heart that the relationship between Zhuji Wuzi and Shen Qindao should be very close, perhaps just a pair of masters and disciples, otherwise she wouldn't have known so much about the past. She had originally decided to express her desire to learn from a teacher after the other party finished telling Shen Qindao's story. Opportunities need to be grasped by people, and whether one can succeed or not, it is always difficult to wait for others to come and accept them. But now she is thinking, what is the purpose of the other party using magic and telling herself these things in a mixed voice and color? Will this be a test? In the spring and autumn period, the Zhou ruler was calculated at 0.215 meters, 0.231 meters was gradually promoted to various countries after Qin and Shangyang, and there is a lot of archaeological evidence for 0.215 meters, with 300 steps per mile and 8 feet per step which is 516 meters per mile. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Apprenticeship, Part 1 You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 6 Apprenticeship, Part 1 As the sky darkened, 
the moon was clear and the stars were sparse. The mountains fell silent, and the silent voices of Zhuji appeared particularly clear. The slender young man in black and the young girl in green were surrounded by dazzling lights, attracting small fish and shrimp in the stream to swim towards the light source, forming a pile by the water and blowing countless bubbles. Years later, taking advantage of the opportunity for Yun Chang to lead the army to attack Wu, Shen Shi tore open the border guards of Wu with one sword and finally returned to the state of Yu. From then on, he began his brilliant career of assisting the Vietnamese army in killing generals and seizing commanders, which was famous in Wu and Yu. I still remember the battle in which Helu was heavily damaged by General Lingu Fu's military weapons. Shen Shi wielded countless swords and killed four of the seventeen Wu generals, including Wang Sun Luo, Bei Li, and Wu Qingqian. It was truly an unprecedented victory for the state of Yu. This time, the scene finally returned to the original Li city, with unprecedented clarity. At the moment of the two armies engaging in battle, everyone's movements and expressions on the battlefield were lifelike, and the deadly aura of war filled every corner. Realistic enough to make anyone who sees the picture inevitably suspect that they are in a corner of this battlefield, witnessing all of this happening with their own eyes. However, Juji Wuzi could see that Zhao Qing was not caught up in the confusion of distinguishing between reality and illusion. Her eyes were hazy, like smoke and mist. By temporary's arms were gently waving, and the airflow around her seemed to be imbued with a hint of sharpness. That is a set of swordsmanship, summarized and comprehended from the military swordsmanship. It does not have a fixed move, but can slightly stimulate some of the golden energy in the world. Originally, Zhao Qin was caught in an epiphany. She is using her hand as a sword, constantly gesturing. Zhu Ji's speechless lips had curved, and this was the first time in many days that he had shown a smile. People who knew him knew how rare it was. But now he is smiling slightly here, giving people a very pure and clean feeling. He understood that his judgment was not wrong, and Zhao Qin successfully passed the test. She truly understood the purpose of her presentation and demonstrated a first-dot-class level of mental comprehension. The final battlefield scene was personally experienced by oneself, adding a bit of spiritual essence compared to the previous scene. It is not simply a record, but rather a fusion of spirit and true meaning, and the use of false illusions as interference. If a person has too many distractions and distractions, even if their intelligence is unparalleled, they will definitely not be able to comprehend anything from it. Although he had previously set difficulties in testing Zhao Qing, in reality, he was extremely eager for another Shen like figure to emerge from the state of you, but it did not meet his expectations. The birth of two unparalleled geniuses, Master Yezi and Master Shen, seems to have exhausted the spiritual energy of 80,000 miles of Vietnam. From his perspective, the practitioners of the Yu dynasty seemed to have at most stopped at the level of the former general Lingu Fu. He couldn't distinguish whether his previous statement of, the future top expert of Yu, was expressing his dissatisfaction with Zhao Qing's disregard for Shen Shi and various masters of Yu, or his hope for young people to grow rapidly and become pillars of the country. When Zhao Qing stopped moving, his hazy eyes regained their clarity. Zhuji spoke solemnly without hesitation. Like Shen Shi, your ancestors were also killed by the Wu people. During the period when Fuchai's soldiers surrounded Kuaiji Mountain, countless warriors from the Yu Kingdom rebelled for their country, and their blood stained the Ruaxi River red. I am the young master of Diyu, and Zhuji has no words. Would you be willing to practice martial arts under my sect and seek revenge for your family and country? Of course, Zhao Qing was willing to practice martial arts under the tutelage of Zhuji Wuzi, and did not feel ashamed that the future top master of the Yu Kingdom would pay homage to others, after all, he had also bowed to some elders before. However, I have not learned the Zhou ritual before, and I am not sure if I should make gestures such as kowtowing to the other party when I am a disciple, after all, feudal etiquette changes with the times. Yang Xiao Qing, pay respects to the teacher. After only hesitating for a moment, she bowed three times in a row as if in a certain manner. 
the young man in front of him didn't take it seriously, just nodded slightly, indicating that the girl didn't need to continue bowing. Master, are you an alchemist? Zhao Qin asked. Zhu Jiwuzi's figure doesn't look strong and doesn't seem like a warrior, so she has always had this speculation. But Zhu Jiwuzi did not directly answer, but extended his finger and lightly tapped Zhao Qin's forehead. A huge amount of information flooded into Zhao Qin's mind, including the five symbols Yin Yang transforming divine chapter, heavenly soldier refining form and activating qi method, and annotations on Yu medicine, each with a large number of annotations and illustrations, which left her in a daze for a while. Sure enough, in the later stages of cultivation, one can use divine consciousness to transmit information, Zhao Qin thought. The five symbols Yin Yang transforming divine chapter was created by your ancestor Jiran Jinran. The general outline is Emptiness, simplicity, tranquility, softness, purity and simplicity, the five elements of the Tao. Void is the abandonment of the Tao, simplicity is the essence of the Tao, tranquility is the reflection of the Tao, softness is the use of the Tao. Pure simplicity, is this the reason why Master's words and actions were inconsistent with what he is doing when he stayed overnight? Zhao Qin finally understood that Master's previous actions were not only to test her character, but also necessary for his cultivation of martial arts. No wonder he gave her a feeling of simplicity and genuine temperament before, which was very different from the serious and calm later on, making her think that he had problems with personality split and so on. Zhuji Wutsi cast his appreciative gaze over and continued to say. A person has six qi, namely essence, qi, gene, liquid, blood, and meridians. It supports and suppresses the camp qi, making it impossible to avoid, which is called the meridian. The meridians and acupoints are exactly where the method of refining qi accumulates qi. There is a conflict between refining qi and practicing strength itself. The body generates strength, with a mixed element that permeates every part of the body, leaving no place for refining qi. Therefore, only those who have not practiced strength or have reached the pinnacle of strength can refine and use the six qi. Zhao Qin quickly understood that after establishing an energy circulation system in the human body, if one wants to build a more advanced new system while retaining the first one, it can only be achieved by perfectly mastering the former and transforming it to adapt to the fusion of the latter. And the master should be the type who has not practiced energy and directly refined qi. She continued to listen while flipping through the martial arts materials that her master had just passed on as a reference for verification. But after countless attempts, our ancestors and predecessors finally created a secret method of using the spiritual machine of heaven and earth to dispel conflicts, so that the way of refining qi can be practiced together with strength. The premise is that the yin and yang forces need to be fully developed, and a divine seed is added as an introduction. Shen Shi is also one of your ancestors. This article, Heavenly Weapon Refining and Qi Activating Technique, is his creation. The so dot called heavenly weapon refers to the divine weapon nurtured between heaven and earth. Using it as a divine seed that integrates strength and qi, one can cultivate at an extremely fast pace and have a strong killing power. Previously, I specifically mentioned the divine weapon that was born a year and a half later, and that's why. Although you are the only disciple I have received in the past 15 years, you still have to fight for it yourself. Only by producing results can I be considered my true successor, otherwise, even if my talent is high, I can only be considered as an ordinary disciple, and my treatment will be almost inferior. Zhao Qing's expression remained unchanged. The first step of apprenticeship had already been taken, and he had also been taught the techniques. Even if he did not succeed in the future, he did not suffer any losses. In fact, she was quite grateful to Zhuji Wutsi for being able to separate men and women and accept herself as her disciple. Is there any female disciple among the 3,000 disciples under Confucius? The education during the spring and autumn period was so monopolized. If one were not in the state of you, which was regarded as a barbarian nation by the central plains and did not follow the Zhou ritual very much, and in a critical period of waiting for improvement and accumulating strength to avenge the state of Wu, 
they would probably not have had this opportunity at all. Perhaps by observing the arduous cultivation of senior experts and witnessing the bloody and terrifying battles on the battlefield, her soul has been somewhat elevated, and she has become much more calm and peaceful in dealing with things. And she also has confidence and doesn't think she will easily fail. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Apprenticeship, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Apprenticeship, Part 2 Zhuji Wuzi looked at Zhao Qingzhen's expression and a smile flashed on his face. With a hint of apology, he said, Apprentice, you don't really think I'm such a strict demand for younger generations, do you? This weapon is for you. He didn't make any movements, but as soon as he finished speaking, a bronze short sword with a scabbard crossed the distance of 20.30 Zhang from the Zhao family to the stream, without any sound or air, just quietly hovering in front of Zhao Qin. Zhao Qin recognized that this was the same sword that Juji Wuzi used to carve out gold grains from the golden cake before. She reached out to take it and slowly drew the sword out of its sheath. A cold blue light shot out, flashing and flowing on the surface of the sword. As her fingers approached the blade, there was a faint sharp and piercing sensation, indicating that she had been covered up by her master before. Previously, while receiving divine consciousness information, Zhao Qin also became familiar with the Yu script, so she recognized the inscription on it. Yu King Yun Chang wrote it himself, the fifth sword of Chao Zi. Suddenly, she remembered the precious sword she had seen Shen Chen Dao find from the ancient tomb before. It seemed that the sword was one of the divine seeds behind him, and she didn't know what level of divine weapon it was. It should not be a single sword. The so dot called Zijian, as recorded in the Heavenly Weapon Refining and Qi Inducing Method, is a subsidiary sword that was born together due to the leakage of yin and yang energy during the casting of the main sword. Its power is much inferior to that of the main sword, but most of it can still be called divine weapons. This is one of the 20.4 sub-swords of the famous sword Hao Chao, gifted by the former King Gojian when he ascended the throne. Although small, this sword is considered top dot grade among the sub-swords of Hao Chao and is sufficient to be used for refining qi before the six qi in the middle dot. Zhuji spoke without hesitation and brushed his hand over the edge of the sword, suppressing the sharp aura emanating from the sword. As for the divine weapon, Qing Xian, that will be born in a year and a half, I will also help you fight for it, and I have a great chance. Of course, you also need to work hard yourself, disciple. Don't think that my tone is calm and calm, just because I am very serious and profound. In fact, it's just because of the need for cultivation. I am actually quite willing to communicate with people, and sometimes I make jokes. Zhao Qin moved her lips but didn't speak. It's better to be serious when joking like this. Juji didn't feel embarrassed without hesitation. He paused and added. For more than ten generations, members of the Zhuji clan have held important positions in Dai Viet, with a long history and strong influence. The contemporary Grand Marshal Zhuji Ying is my uncle, the Crown Prince and Yi are my brother. In law. Zhao Qin, you are the third disciple I have received and should be my last disciple. Your treatment will never be worse. Back in the Xia and Shang dynasties, there was also a woman who served as a political general. If you can cultivate the cultivation strength to rival an army, you may not be able to be appointed as a doctor or general, leaving a lasting impression in history. De Wang Gojian is a very capable and ambitious person. Before completing his revenge against the state of Wu, even if he sees people from other countries coming to serve, he will not show distrust or disdain due to his distance and status. As long as he has the ability and talent, he will respect the wise and be appointed according to his abilities. Do you have such confidence? Zhao Qing's eyes blinked. Appointed due to talent is likely a fact, but respectful and virtuous soldiers should be forgotten. When Zhong's death is quite unjust. She still has some understanding of the saying, a cunning rabbit dies, a running dog cooks, a flying bird dies, a good bow hides. Speaking of which, 
Go Jin will not be killed by his master in the future when he kills meritorious officials. It sounds like his master doesn't know Go Jin's nature. But after all, the two are considered in laws, so there shouldn't be any major issues. Juji Wutsi looked up at the moonlight in the night sky and walked towards the Zhao family courtyard, with Zhao Qing following behind him. By the way, I haven't introduced your first and second senior brothers yet. Master brother Jiang Qingyu is a descendant of the original Jiang Kingdom, with the initial development of the Six Qi. Currently, he is a disciple of Duke Lu of Chu and secretly assists the daughter of the Grand Prince, who is the Princess of Chu, and her son Prince Zhang of Chu. Zhong Wugua Yan, the second senior brother, was the gong son of the former Zhong Wugua. He was also a newcomer to the cultivation of the Six Qi in the middle school. Now, he works as an undercover agent in the Yunyang sect of the Wu Kingdom, collecting information about the Wu Kingdom's martial arts world. Over the years, he has become the second elder of the Yuyun Hall, the leader of the four halls in the Yunyang sect. As for your master and me, since I stepped down as a junior apprentice sixteen years ago, I have been hiding my identity in conducting investigations in the six rural areas of the country, ruling out domestic unrest and recommending some talents to the current senior and junior apprentices. Making friends with Chu to the south, Jin to the west, and Qi to the north is our Yu country's foreign policy. On the surface, it is the envoy sent by the Grand Tutor Tua Yong to exchange ideas, while on the surface, it is our branch that participates. What secret spy organization, the Royal Guards, of you state? Do everyone engage in underground work? I boarded the wrong pirate ship. Zhao Qin couldn't help but secretly slander and his eyes twitched, so what outrageous things will I be sent by my master to do in the future? But why does it feel a bit stimulating inexplicably? As for your words, disciple. Well, Xiao Zhao Qin, why don't you wait for five or six more years before considering it? First, find a more stable place to practice martial arts on your own. I have quotas for the first military academy in Kuaiji and the sword and gorge camp in the army. Which one do you want? Let's go to the martial arts academy, Zhao Qin returned to his small courtyard, holding the sword he had just received and the utensils he had washed a long time ago, thinking for a moment. Speaking of which, Jian Gu camp doesn't sound like a stable place, it shouldn't be among the death squad, right? Is, practicing martial arts on my own, the meaning I imagined? Seemingly sensing Zhao Qing's thoughts, Juji Wuzi cleared his throat and explained. Whether in the land of Wu and Yu, or in the central plains, the vast majority of martial arts sects follow the rule of not spreading the Dharma lightly, dividing their martial arts into three, six, or nine levels, selecting and imparting them. There have even been situations where disciples constantly change their fundamental teachings as their status increases. This is to control the progress of their disciples' cultivation and ensure the stability of their main lineage status. But here, there are no such rules. Everyone can obtain the high dot level techniques that I have carefully annotated upon entering, and with your top dot notch understanding, there is actually no need for me to teach them specifically. This is finding an excuse to evade responsibility. Zhao Qing stroked his forehead with his hand, feeling that his master's tall image had not yet been established, and he himself had caused it to collapse and collapse. There's one more thing. You should have understood early on that your talent for martial arts is top dot notch, and you know that your future cannot be limited to one village and one township. However, the reason why you haven't been away from home for a long time to practice martial arts is because you have to take care of your sick mother. Juji Wutsi tidied up the luggage that had been left at the door before and said. Zhao Qing nodded. After learning from her mentor, she was thinking about what she should do, perhaps spending money to hire some people to take care of her. Your mother's internal injury started with blood clots clotting in her organs, causing her body to fail. She then had to lie in bed for a long time, her legs atrophied, and her internal blood vessels and tendons hardened. It is estimated that the doctors in the rural areas have not fully diagnosed, but only taught people to take medicine for rest. However, without the doctor's medicine, your mother would not be able to survive today. Fortunately, 
although her physical problems are significant, they can actually be treated. I have attached a medical scripture at the end of the information I imparted to you, which contains the method to heal your mother. As long as you cultivate a state of great power transformation or initial qi refining, you can start to seek treatment. At that time, you can use the method of resonance or internal energy cutting to cleanse and reshape your mother's tendons and bones, and reshape her lower limbs. Afterwards, you will take care of her for half an hour every day, about a month, and she will recover to the level of an ordinary person, so that you no longer have any worries. That's all for now. Your master, I have to leave first. I'll leave this money for you. Zhao Qing, who had just turned her back to prepare for household chores, quickly turned her head, but there was no one left. Except for a golden cake on the bamboo chair in front of the door that shimmered slightly under the moonlight, and a bronze short sword hanging on the rope buckle around my waist, there were no other traces. In the Zhou dynasty, there were cases of officials using great kings, kings, shang, and other terms for their rulers, but no Wang Shang was seen. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Dreaming Citation. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Dreaming Citation Late at night, Zhao Qing did not fall asleep. Instead, he sat cross-legged at the head of the bed, letting go of his mind and carefully observing the direction of various meridians. Most people who have just obtained a peerless martial arts skill in the world can't wait to try and practice it, and even start practicing without paying close attention to the taboos. Zhao Qing is not one of those careless and impatient people, and will not act rashly. But after all, she is only a lively and energetic girl at the age of 15. After familiarizing herself with the key points of the martial arts, she naturally made the decision to stay up late for practice today. Following the first step of blood qi opening meridian, in the heavenly soldier refining and qi inducing method, Zhao Qing picked up a small sword and gently cut through the end of his little finger. Fresh red blood seeped out from the Xiaochong acupoint belonging to the Han Xiaoyin heart meridian. A strand of blue sword energy, also known as the golden energy emitted by the divine weapon, had a trace of penetration into the surface of her skin and accumulated in Xiaochong acupoint, causing pain as if stabbing a needle or knife. Zhao Qing naturally associated himself with the Six Meridian Divine Sword in the Eight Departments of the Heavenly Dragon. One of its sword energies condensed and shot fiercely from the Xiaochong acupoint, causing harm from the body, which is exactly the opposite of his current cultivation. Although the sword energy of the Divine Weapon is only a thin strand, its sharpness is like an invisible blade. Even if ordinary martial artists have mastered external hard skills such as iron cloth shirts, they can resist it completely, not to mention that it has become like a bloodthirsty leech, cunningly burrowing into its soft and undefended body, seemingly unstoppable. Its fragile flesh and blood will only be left with the result of being mashed and devoured. But Zhao Qin is an exception to this. She has cultivated the highest level of yin and yang energy, with energy divided into millions and hidden in the body, and essence and blood hiding in the shape of yang like steel. Every inch of the muscle network around her body can emit soft and fluffy energy, and every drop of blood can transform into a tough protective plate, thereby restraining this burst of sword energy. She completely focused her mind on the sword energy, enduring the intense pain to stimulate the yin and yang energy to vibrate the muscles, bones, and blood, guiding the sword energy to ascend along the meridians, Xiao Chong, Xiao Fu, Shen Men, Yin Shi, Tong Li and finally reaching the heart. Accompanied by the faint sound of breathing, Zhao Qing's eyes were shrouded in a faint blue light, as if they had carried the divine essence of golden energy. After circulating all the meridians and acupoints throughout the body, the golden energy will temporarily block the transmission of strength within the meridians, providing an environment for the generation and operation of true qi inside, until a subtle balance is achieved with external strength. Although this is almost equivalent to enduring a weakened version of the Ling Qi punishment, Zhao Qing is confident in persevering. People who practice martial arts have an extraordinary ability to endure pain. However, she failed due to an unforeseen change in her martial arts. 
When the sword energy, which had already settled down, was passing through the Baihui acupoint on the top of the head, it suddenly became restless and rebellious, tearing open the surrounding power constraints. Just like a lone warrior who finally saw his own flag and bravely broke through the besieged army, causing the general who had been desperately planning to cut off the battlefield from both sides to fail. In other words, this is called the act of doing work to backfire. Zhao Qing felt a pain in her head, and the uncontrollable sword energy suddenly rushed into her mind, plunging her into darkness. In a daze, she saw the ancient and simple characters that she would normally see when she was about to wake up from her sleep. The green sword energy cut through the colorless void and illuminated the dim ancient characters. For some unknown reason, at this moment, Zhao Qing had already understood the meaning of this ancient character. The ancient and simple large characters are not just one character, but eight peculiar characters originating from ancient times are squeezed together, meaning, Western White Emperor's Dream Citation. Where is this? Am I seriously injured? Opening his eyes again, Zhao Qing saw neatly arranged bungalows and old city walls lined with moss and vines nearby, as well as two green mountains on the left and right in the distance. There is no doubt that this is a city, and its location is in a small alley near the city wall. In just a short while, Zhao Qing realized that this was not the era of spring and autumn, because she had already seen the most obvious characteristics of the Qing dynasty people. Not far away, an old man with a shaved head and braids was carrying a load of fruits and melons, humming softly as he walked slowly towards the exit of the alley. It should be quite surprising and frightening to suddenly discover that he had entered a new dynasty, but Zhao Qing was a bit calmer than when he first arrived here. Because just now, some information naturally appeared in her mind. The Western White Emperor's Dream Citation has the effect of using pure golden energy as an introduction, and then being able to dream into the heavens, immersing oneself in a world that is no different from reality and has practitioners in a dream-like manner. The special thing is that the time flow of the heavens is much faster than that of the main world, and can even reach millions of times. If it is used to do things such as enlightenment techniques and principles, the efficiency can be extremely high. However, staying here forever is impossible. Once the effectiveness of the attractor is exhausted or dies in this world, one will return to their original world. For example, this time, I can stay in this world for six months. Some are similar to the Taoist concept of Zhuangzhou Mengdai, and the Buddhist concept of all things are like dreams, illusions, bubbles, and shadows. After a careful examination, Zhao Qing confirmed that he was not carrying any injuries or the slightest Chao Zi sword, with empty hands. Perhaps the manifestation of the dream citation is only one's own spiritual body, with no external objects other than necessary clothing. Following the alleyway that seemed to have just rained, with still small puddles and mud left, Zhao Qing tiptoed towards the outside street. This city is still quite dirty and messy, with many rotten vegetable leaves and livestock excrement in the dark corners. Compared to it, the mountain tombs next to the Zhao family are like pure land. The ditches along the street emit a faint odor of fermentation and infiltration, but fortunately, a recent spring rain and the fragrance of flowers covered most of it, which is still tolerable. Compared to modern times, the urban environment in ancient times is vastly different. You have to be careful not to get dirty while wearing simple grass shoes. At the street corner, Zhao Qing saw a group of martial artists holding swords and swords walking together not far away, chatting and discussing the world on the road. Their pronunciation has some distinctive features, with different tones. Fortunately, they can barely distinguish and understand the content. After all, what the ancients said was not modern standard Mandarin, but dialects from that time. Even in the martial arts world with strong personnel mobility, there are some differences. I only heard the first person say, today, the only son of Wan Jinshan, the Five Cloud Hand, got married to a grand banquet at the home of Wan Lao Hero. You can't miss it. Another person immediately sighed and said, I heard that heroes of 10,000 years not only have a thriving reputation in the martial arts world, but also have met several Jinshir and Jiren in the court. This is really amazing. 
even if people in the martial arts world of our generation can achieve such success, they will die without regret. The third person suddenly interjected, it's a bit too much. Which of the eight great heroes, the Northern Four Monsters and the Southern Four Wonders, is not far above their fame? Where do they need to meet people from the government? This seems to be a person who dislikes the righteous people of the current court. The other person impatiently said, what's the point of arguing about this? Do you know which family Wanjia is married to? We really don't know about this. Mr. Ma, you're a local, do you want to talk about it? A few people at the back of the team asked. Yeah, when I see the bride from afar, who is as beautiful as flowers and jade, but I don't know her name, shouldn't my divine claw once come to Lianjiang for nothing? An elderly man walking in front of the team, with his hands on his back and a slight hunched back, said hoarsely, triggering a burst of laughter around him. The purple faced man, who was also walking at the front with a long sword slung around his waist, chuckled twice and said, it turns out that Brother Zheng had this idea. Then I, Ma Daiming, will talk about it. However, to put it bluntly, the disciples of the Wan family of Wu Yun Han all come from wealthy families in the city and have considerable influence in Jiangling City. Although they are my good brothers, if someone causes trouble at the wedding banquet, I will not lend a helping hand. Where, where, how could it be? Divine Claw Zheng Lianjiang waved his hands repeatedly towards the purple-faced man, not like the majestic Divine Claw, but more like the Dog Claw, trying to please his master. It seems that his nickname was mostly taken by him to deceive others. We definitely have to give face to the Wanching Sword sect and Mr. Ma, the others replied in the same way. I posted a discussion post about the era of Lianqing Ju, which is currently at the top. You can take a look, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Wanjia Wedding Banquet You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Wanjia Wedding Banquet Wayunchu Wanjin Mountain Jiangling City Zhao Qin has always had a good memory after traveling, and she can still remember most of the details of books she has read several times in her past life. Is this originally the world of Lianqing Ju? Di Yun, Ding Dian, Blood Knife Ancestor, Divine Illumination Skill, Lying Corpse Sword Technique, Blood Knife Technique, Iron Lock Hingjiang Qi Changfa, Night Half Wall Building Wan Jinshan, Living Burial of His Daughter Ling Gaisai Based on the news we just heard, today should be the day when Wan Gui, the son of Wan Jinshan, married Qi Fang, the daughter of his junior brother Qi Changfa. The protagonist of Lian Qing Ju, Di Yun, who was a childhood friend of Qi Fang, will learn this news deep in the prison of Jingzhou. He is deeply saddened and soon hangs himself in despair. He is then rescued by his fellow inmate Ding Dian using the world's top divine illumination skill, internal skill. If you want to interfere with the plot, this is undoubtedly a very clever timing. Zhao Qin was unaware of the positioning of her strength in the world of Lianqing Ju. If she had worn into an era of complete decline in martial arts like the white horse roaring west wind, in terms of martial arts alone, she would have confidence in being able to sweep invincible. However, during the period of Lianqing Ju, it's hard to say. After all, the divine illumination skill has the effect of reviving the dead. Even people who have been out of breath for a long time can be saved, and it is definitely a first-class divine skill. But after connecting with Ren Du and practicing Xin Zhao Gong, Di Yunding Dian seems unable to crush the top experts in the martial arts world, such as falling flowers and flowing water. Ding Dian once told Di Yun that if he faced the joint efforts of the five disciples of the Blood Sword Ancestor, he was afraid it would be difficult to win. From this corner, the martial arts level of the Lianqing Ju era is actually quite strong, not as far apart as some people in previous lives claimed. The number of pounds that a master can knock out in Jin Yong's novels has always been a confusing question, and sometimes the strength that can knock a person up to ten zhang is written as a thousand pounds, which is difficult to measure in detail. Zhao Qing's eyes blinked like a clear spring, as if they had become slightly brighter. No matter how you speculate beforehand, only a real match can serve as a reference, and the specific positioning still needs to be known after playing. 
and she herself is also looking forward to fighting against the masters of this era, in order to summarize and absorb the martial arts heritage accumulated by this world for thousands of years. The Tao is the source of the gods. The transformation of all things is inevitable, and the changes of all things are inseparable. The five symbols of yin and yang transforming the divine method uses various things as the fuel, fire, and food of the Tao, in order to transform the source of the gods. Simply put, the more experiences one has, the more creative and innovative one can learn, and the faster one can improve their level. So, being able to dream into the heavens has been of great help to Zhao Qin. What are the martial arts principles contained in Shen Zhao Gong, Blood Knife Classic, Tai Chi Sword? And can they be integrated into one's own martial arts? Do blood knives and other sharp tools contain the aura of gold, and can they replenish the consumption that comes here? In the spring of the 22nd year of the reign of Emperor Jiaqing of the Qing Dynasty, Hub Province, Jingzhou Prefecture, Jiangling County, also known as Jingzhou City. Jingzhou City is located on the plain on the left bank of the Jingjiang River, with convenient water and land transportation. Although it has been repeatedly affected by floods for a hundred years and has been repaired several times, its geographical location is excellent and it is still quite prosperous. It is precisely because of frequent floods and blockages that the drainage system in the city has been disrupted, resulting in almost every street and alley here overflowing with sewage and smelling odors. The people in the city have obviously become accustomed to such a scene. Wealthy officials and families travel by car and horse, while ordinary families without money wear waterproof oilcloth shoes when going out. It can be said that each has its own way. But this group of martial artists who came to Jingzhou City for the first time found it difficult to adapt so quickly in order to rush to the wedding banquet of the famous heroes, Five Cloud Hands, from the Two Lakes. I don't know who unlucky stepped on the filth on the ground again, and finally cursed a few words, which seemed to resonate with me all at once. Everyone started cursing and cursing, not even the local expert Ma Daming, who was leading the way, didn't give face to the fact that the prefect's corpse and vegetarian food were not clean in the city, and everyone didn't know to remind them in advance. Taking advantage of the hustle and bustle ahead, Zhao Qing stepped lightly and silently followed the group of martial artists, heading towards the Wanjia mansion without being noticed at all. After all, Wan Jinshan himself is only a second-rate person, and he can't be called a master if he can come from afar due to his family's wedding banquet. Although these dozen or so people in the martial arts world have a strong temperament, they are actually mediocre hands of third or fourth class. In Zhao Qing's eyes, their luck seems to be weak and their steps are superficial, belonging to the level where she can easily defeat a large area. She cautiously used her lightness skills while tracking, mainly considering that these people had internal strength that was vastly different from the main world and that she had not yet fully understood the virtual and real, just in case. Wan's family is a first-class large family in Jingzhou City, and they have good friendship with local officials such as Lingji Prefecture of Jingzhou Prefecture, Shangji County of Jiangling County, etc. Ling Jifu sent several boxes of exquisite gold and silver jewelry to the wedding banquet, and Shang's supervisor of the county personally congratulated the wedding banquet, showing his cooperation and support to the famous people under his administration. The interior of the thousands of mansions with high walls and vermilion doors is decorated with lights and colorful decorations to celebrate today's wedding. The hall where guests are received is brightly lit and bustling with figures. Zhao Qin glanced outside a few times, his figure flickered, and he had already infiltrated the interior of the hall. The servant guarding the door saw the green shadow flash by, feeling that he had just taken a glance at it, indicating the speed of her body movements. No matter how high a person's lightness skills are, even if they reach an intangible level, they always have to stop after reaching their destination. So Zhao Qing, who had stopped, gently and skillfully stood among the crowd, quietly scanning the situation of the guests in the venue with his gaze. And the guests nearby also noticed the sudden arrival of the unfamiliar girl. The beautiful girl, dressed in an emerald green robe, with clear eyes and long hair draped over her shoulders, is clearly a striking anomaly among a group of dusty and armed men. 
It is said that in the martial arts world, attention should be paid to three types of people. The elderly, women, and children, and beautiful women may be the most troublesome among these three types of people. But Zhao Qing looked weak and delicate, and it was hard to tell from her appearance that she was carrying weapons. It seemed like she was really a simple girl who came to join the fun. So someone nearby started laughing and slowly leaned over. Then Zhao Qing casually snatched the scabbard of one of them, and with a slight flick of his wrist, he had already tapped their acupoints one by one. These few people stood in place and could only wait until the banquet was over before being dragged away for treatment. Their only faces, which were still able to move a bit, were either full of anger, fear and panic, or remorse, and their expressions were quite brilliant. The so dot called acupoint tapping is actually using force to penetrate the meridians, making people unable to move. Zhao Qing learned the position of meridian acupoints from the martial arts diagram last night. With the use of strength, the effect was indeed no different from using top-notch internal skills to point acupoints. After showing her hand, she ignored the guests next to her and only looked contentedly at the beautiful decorations, antique murals, and intricate patterns of the caisson with an appreciative gaze. Previously, she only traveled back and forth between villages and towns. This was indeed the first time in over a decade that she had experienced the ancient architectural style, which was quite novel. The real way to take action is to wait until you have eaten some noodles after serving the dishes, after all, you are considered penniless at this time and just happen to have some food to eat. By exposing and punishing the crimes of countless families, one can become famous in the martial arts world and attract various experts from other places. The spring scenery in Jingzhou is beautiful, with pink and purple red leafed plums, pure white magnolias, and pink and white plum blossoms blooming one after another, and a fragrant scent wafting into the front and backyards of thousands of households. Wan Gui's mood today is also very beautiful. Three years have passed, and various strategies have been carried out. A few days ago, Qi Fang was finally convinced by him to agree and get married today. In recent years, I have provided food and accommodation to Fang Mei, comforted her with warmth, and spent so much money on the governor's office to detain Di Yun. Finally, the result has been achieved. Speaking of Fang Mei, she was too naive. She thought that the silver she used was for helping Di Yun get rid of his crime and reduce his sentence. She was extremely grateful in her heart, as if every penny of silver could kill two birds with one stone. Even though the governor's office deliberately wanted to collect more money and refused to agree to kill Di Yun all at once, he had no choice but to go. After today, when the raw rice was cooked and cooked, it was too late for Fang Mei to go back on her word. I'm afraid that even after marriage, she might still be worried about Di Yun and feel uncomfortable. What's good about Di Yun? The only martial arts skill that can surpass oneself has also been abolished by others, in terms of appearance, background, and wealth, which one is not far superior to oneself. He let out a resentful snort. Suddenly, Wan Gui caught a glimpse of Shen Cheng, the eighth junior brother, chatting with guests on the side. The other party is always playful and smiling, and I don't know what they are all happy about. Perhaps this is just hiding a knife in a smile. Among his own martial brothers, he still has the most cunning thoughts. Let's find him to discuss and discuss the imprisoned Di Yun. Shen Junior Brother, do you still remember Di Yundi's senior brother, who was framed and imprisoned by us together? How about sending him a cake and food to celebrate my hundred-year good union with Qi Junior Sister later? The reward will not be less than yours. You can practice the Ren Du Ermai, as seen in the original text of Xiaka Xing, with Shaolin's beginner-level internal skills, unlike some fellow martial artists who set up two meridians. Different internal skills are equivalent to loading different operating systems, with varying strengths and weaknesses. The evaluations of first dot class and second dot rate may not necessarily be the same in different eras, but in fact, from Jin Yang's divine perspective, the positioning of the characters, real martial arts, excluding actual combat experience and natural talent bonuses, in the martial arts world. 
The era of Lianqing Zhu here refers to Cambridge Concise History of Jin Yong's Martial Arts. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Disclosure. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Disclosure in the evening, in the front hall of 10,000 households. The maidservants carried steaming dishes and placed them one by one on the Huali Mu Eight Immortals table at the VIP and individual tables. The main advantage of a VIP banquet over an individual banquet is that the tableware on the table is made of gold and silver, and the content of the dishes is not much different, so as not to make people think that the people from all walks of life are looking down on the martial arts heroes who have come from afar. Zhao Qing smelled the fragrance and flew to grab a seat. He didn't pay much attention to etiquette and started eating directly. Not to mention anything else, Wanjia is truly a first-class wealthy family in the city of Jingzhou. The chefs invited here have prepared dishes with a comprehensive range of flavors and flavors, and the taste is really good. The last time she tasted such delicious food was in her past life, which made her quite emotional. Just after tasting a few bites, a purple-faced man with a sword around his waist approached and whispered. This girl is a high-ranking member of the MA sect. Previously, a friend of mine offended her and wanted you to release her for twenty tails of silver. Here, my Wanqing sword Ma Daiming apologizes to you on his behalf. This person is Ma Daiming, who Zhao Qing had seen from afar before, leading many martial artists from other places to the Wan family. Among the few people who were just stopped by Zhao Qing, there was one who went to the banquet with Ma Daiming. He had made a bad friend of Zheng Lianjiang for many years. Originally, Ma Daiming didn't want to deal with this matter. He was well informed and knew that this kind of expert who could easily control a group of people was not something that a second or third rate character in the martial arts world could afford to provoke. But on second thought, he realized that this girl's martial arts were so superb that she must have come from a top dot notch sect in the martial arts world, probably a disciple of the MA sect. When Ma Daiming was studying under the Wanqing Sword sect, his master once casually mentioned that some major sects have passed down their acupoint tapping techniques, which are quite domineering. Once the acupoint tapping time is too long, it will leave serious sequelae. Ma Daiming was not clear about the mystery behind it, but he tried several times but failed to relieve his friend's acupoint, which inevitably reminded him of this past event. He thought for a moment and realized that he had already waited for several cups of tea. This young master should have calmed his anger, so he gathered the courage and tried to intercede. It was certain that as a disciple of a righteous sect, the other party should not be completely merciless. As for the twenty tales of silver, it was naturally up to him to make up for it first. Although Brother Zhang's character is not very good, he has had many years of friendship here, and it is estimated that he will only repay himself more, earning both money and affection. Are you working under Magistrate Ling's command? Can you give me a certificate later? Zhao Qing's eyes moved and he said, You just need to tell the truth. Don't worry, after the certificate is completed, I will relieve your friend's acupoint. When Zhao Qing first arrived here, he was not very familiar with the accent of Jingzhou. But after listening for quite some time, she was able to communicate with the locals normally, which is naturally a credit for practicing martial arts and strengthening her physical mastery. But the purple-faced man listened to her words and instinctively took a half-step back. How could she know that I am under the command of Lord Ling? Could it be from the conversation I had with my colleagues sent by adults today not long ago? Or was it found earlier from the Longsha gang? In Ma Daiming's heart, Zhao Qing suddenly became several times more mysterious and terrifying, making him want to give up on the matter of relieving acupoints and immediately leave. But something even more mysterious and terrifying happened, just as Ma Daiming was slightly lost in thought, the long sword on his waist had already fallen into the opponent's hands with its scabbard. The girl's wrist turned, and the handle of the long knife lightly tapped the Dazwi acupoint on his back, then remained tightly attached to the acupoint. The Dazwi acupoint is the meeting point of the three young meridians of the hands and feet, and is the most important acupoint for the human body. With a slight force, both hands and feet become soft, 
and the force can make them heavy, even leading to paralysis throughout the body. Ma Daiming is well aware of the risks involved and is completely afraid to struggle and resist. Do you want to run? Then you have to do two more things, Zhao Qing said softly. Unique technique, with the power seeping into the acupoints, only I can unlock it. Ma Daiming is a person who often shows great loyalty to the outside world, so he can gain the trust of Governor Ling in dare to take risks to intercede. However, at this moment, his heart seems to be tinged with a hint of coldness. The performance of loyalty is not the same as the true loyalty, just like brass plated with gold cannot be exchanged for much money, especially in front of an expert who has already seen through its surface disguise. So he swallowed his saliva and nodded decisively. The auspicious time has arrived, and most of the food has been served. A handsome young man dressed in splendid attire led a woman wearing a hood, but still able to see that she was very handsome, and walked into the hall through the back door. Undoubtedly, this man and woman are the protagonists of today's wedding. Wan Gui and Qi Fan. The vast majority of guests, seeing these two people for the first time, couldn't help but admire their perfect match. The tall and burly Wan Jinshan stood behind the two, looking at his son and future daughter. In. Law with a smile on his face. Several of his disciples rang the gongs and drums, and the prepared maidservants quickly moved two cattails and placed them on the wooden platform built for the main entrance in the hall. Wan Gui and Qi Fang exchanged a glance and slowly walked towards Futuan not far away, preparing for the worship ceremony. Wait a moment. The crisp female voice suppressed the hustle and bustle of nearly a thousand people in the hall, echoing continuously indoors. Everyone looked towards the place where the voice was spoken, and saw a delicate young girl pushing through the crowd and jumping into the open space in the middle of the hall. At a critical moment when a major project that had been planned for many years was about to be completed, Wan Gui was interrupted by someone else. He was extremely angry in his heart. If there were no outsiders present, according to his usual temperament, he would have already drawn his long sword and called on his senior brothers to rush forward and chop people together. But at this moment, the guests were all over the hall and attracting attention, so he couldn't show an impulsive and irritable attitude in front of the gentry and friends in the city. So he suppressed his anger and said in a low voice. What's the matter with this girl? If it's not very important, Please wait for us husband and wife to finish our bowing before bringing it up. Wan Jinshan also spoke up and said, Son of a dog got married today. I hope the girl can give me face and also give the friends who came to congratulate me today. Don't delay the auspicious time of the wedding. Zhao Qing said calmly, I'm afraid you two don't have this face. Miss Qi, before becoming the wife of Wan Gui, do you want to know the truth about your senior brother D being framed and imprisoned? Then stop for now. The voice was as loud as the first sentence, spreading throughout every corner of the hall. The guests were all shocked, and her voice skills were so profound that she could undoubtedly be called a master, and a true expert is unlikely to lie in public. That is to say, behind the truth behind the imprisonment of D Shige, there may be a big problem that can stop today's marriage of 10,000 relatives. So the audience immediately began discussing gossip related to it. People who wander in the martial arts world have a rich ability to associate and quickly weave a series of stories, including Di Yun, Wan Gui, Qi Fang, and others. There are actually many people who have guessed the rough truth. Qi Fang also thought of this truth. She originally walked towards the wooden high platform in the hall, but after hearing this, she actually stopped. She turned around, lifted the red hood, and a pair of dark eyes fixed on Zhao Qingding. That was a peculiar and complex gaze, filled with anticipation, doubt, pain, fear, and a restless heart. On the side, Wan Gui's face had turned pale, and his breathing became more rapid than before. His right hand was tightly pressed against the hilt of the sword, his wrist trembling uncontrollably. Zhao Qing didn't look at Wan Gui's ugliness, only gave Qi Fang a pitiful look and began to describe in a plain tone. 
Three years ago, in order to separate you from Di Yun, the eight disciples of Wan Jinshan sect teamed up to perform a good performance, and finally sent your honest and honest, Di senior brother, to the prison. You should still remember the situation that day. Di Yun stayed in the same room as Wan Jinshan's concubine, Tao Hong. Tao Hong shouted for help, saying that Di Yun had stolen money from the Wan family and invited her to flee. She also wanted to insult her and become a flower picker. Later, Di Yun argued in the lobby of the supervisor of the county county that he was slandered when he found a philanderer and went into the room to save people, but he was finally forced to commit a crime. Well, it was someone who made a confession. The flower pickers were disguised by Zhou Qi and Bhutan, while the gold and silver objects under Di Yun's bed were released by Wu Kansas. The peach red words were instructed by Wan Gui in advance. Their conspiracy was intended for today's wedding. Qi Fong just listened in a daze, standing there dumbfounded, seeming to have no reaction. She didn't know whether she believed Zhao Qing's words or not. End of this chapter.